Hello and welcome to House Read, my Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire theorising channel, where I take a look at the story of A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones from the perspective of a writer and sometimes viewer slash reader, and see whether the techniques of the craft can be used to make some predictions about what will happen in the future and gain a deeper understanding of what's happening now. Lately, I've been thinking about a Game of Thrones, the TV series, within the context of it being a serialised sci-fi slash fantasy American TV series. Game of Thrones is obviously a massive cultural phenomena. Pretty much everyone watches it and those that don't watch it at least have heard of it and know roughly what it's about and what characters are in it and so on. But that doesn't mean to say that it exists in a vacuum. Game of Thrones is actually part of a larger tradition of American serialised dramas that gain international appeal. So what I thought I'd do in this video was take a look at some other equivalent American serialised TV dramas and see if in some way the way that those shows played out could give us any insight into the way that Game of Thrones may play out. To do this there's obviously going to be some spoilers for some other TV shows and these TV series are Lost, The Sopranos, Dexter, and the X-Files. If you don't want the ending for these TV shows to be spoilt, then I would advise you stop watching the video now. HBO's Lost has a lot to answer for. It was probably the first of a new wave of American serialised drama series that managed to capture the imagination of an international audience. In a similar way to Game of Thrones, it had a large group of characters and a single narrative over many series. It also had great writing and top-class cinema quality acting. But Lost is now famous for one particular thing, and that is how Lost ended. It's known as being one of the most disastrous endings to any series ever, and around 99% of the fans were unhappy with how it happened. Throughout the series, large numbers of interesting character arcs were raised, and interesting mysteries were also hinted at. But the ending descended into some meaningless, mystical mumbo-jumbo without really resolving any of the story arcs that fans wanted wanted it to. The writers were lost were stuck in a very difficult position. The show had grown so complex with many different characters' perspectives and most of the fans disagreed on where they thought the show should go, which characters were important and why, and how the different pieces of the puzzle fit together. It was almost impossible for them at that point to satisfy everyone. If you resolve the series in one way, the vast majority of viewers will be disappointed that it didn't resolve in the way that they wanted. And so in the end, instead of recognising this difficulty, they attempted to try to please everyone, and this resulted in them pleasing no one resulting in the domino effect of the cancellation of many sci-fi mystery shows that had formed in Lost's wake. The Sopranos was also an American TV drama series with mass international appeal, with complex characters and cinematic level acting. It also comprised of one single narrative spread out across multiple series. The Sopranos too had an unsatisfying ending for many viewers, in that it just ended and left many of the story arcs that people had become invested in throughout the length of the series dangling in a very unsatisfying way. Similarly, the TV show Dexter. Dexter was also an American TV drama series with one story told over multiple seasons. Its ending was likewise frustrating to many fans. Characters people had grown invested in over many seasons were killed off without fully resolving their story arcs, and we were treated to not one, but two endings to the show, both of them equally unsatisfactory. First, Dexter seemingly attempts suicide when he drives his boat into an oncoming storm, and then miraculously survives the suicidal weather conditions to turn up as a lumberjack, something which seemed to go against everything that the character had been set up to be throughout the previous seasons, leaving many fans bewildered, confused and feeling somewhat betrayed. The X-Files was another American-made TV show that gained mass international appeal, and whilst it generally consisted of the Freak of the Week style format, over the various seasons it had built up a mythology of complex government conspiracies and alien interaction with human beings. It also slowly built up towards a prophesied alien invasion timetable to happen in 2012. 
that many thought would serve as a suitable climactic end to the series. Unfortunately, when the series ended, it was largely without climax at all. Almost none of the questions that had been raised throughout the series had answered, and no alien invasion was in sight. Many fans hoped for a 2012 spin-off movie which could resolve some of these issues, but when the movie came out, fans soon discovered that it had very little to do with the series' mythology, and in fact went some way to undo some of the things that had been established. So, this brings me back onto Game of Thrones. Something that constantly worries me about Game of Thrones is that George R. R. Martin is lauded as a genius writer, and undeniably he has changed the face of literature of our generation. But the vast majority of his fans that consume his work, importantly, don't really know whether George R. R. Martin can do endings. Now, my bold prediction at the end of this video is one that I really sincerely hope is not true, but I sort of somewhat fear is. My bold prediction is that just like nearly every other TV series of this type, the ending will be rubbish. The difficulty is, is that as the story gets more and more complex and different fans fall in love with different characters and different people have different ideas about the way that Game of Thrones should end, it becomes increasingly more and more difficult to satisfy anyone, let alone everyone. It seems to me that the best that we can hope for is at minimum the story satisfies a minority. But the likelihood is, I think, I fear, is that it will satisfy no one. So that's my bold prediction. If you have any reason to believe that I'm wrong, and I really hope you do, please, please comment below and explain to me why I should have more faith. And also, I'd like to hear about the TV series you found most disappointing in their endings, or the most satisfying in their endings. So if you liked this video, why not like it? If you really liked it, why not subscribe for more?